Hi, welcome to another video from Todata. My name is Chris van der Zwan and last week we were in Sams Europe. If we saw you there, thank you for participating. I think it was a value, really valuable event. It's always good to see that uh, the peers and everybody is, is key to share knowledge with each other uh, in, in this software as a management and procurement community. I think that's really yeah, I think, uh, cool to see and luxury we have that everybody is, is key to help each other. Um, also, uh, we did, so we had a session on the procurement event this year where we shared a lot of insights on how to optimize and negotiate and, and which are the latest commercial trends with uh, negotiating with Microsoft. Um, so ho I hope if you were there, you learned a lot. Um, if you are keen to learn what we to uh, talked about in that, that session, reach out to me. More than happy to do one-on-one -on -one session or share the knowledge with you uh, or uh, go to our website on our knowledge hub and you find all the resources there as well uh, but in today's video another uh, insight in optimizing uh, or licensing skills update uh, we're handling and discussing today the license your multi-tenant environment with just one license per user so let's dive into it Multi-tenant license, so what does that mean? Uh, what are the use cases for it? What are the license rules uh, and use rights? We will discuss in this video. First of all, uh, a short introduction. So early in April this year, Microsoft announced the Microsoft Entra external ID and the Microsoft Entra ID multi-tenant collaboration. And that last one we will handle in this video and zoom in and dive into to that, what license rights you will get for that and what our possibilities are. Uh, but this means that uh, organizations you uh, with a multi-tenant uh, environment now only need one license per person. Uh, and this is limited to the Entra ID stack. Uh, so Entra ID P1, P2 and the governance uh, edition. Uh, it is a bit more than that because uh, the capabilities are broader. Because what Microsoft also did is that they added features and functions into the Entra uh, P1 and P2 and, and governance to are and are able to clo collaborate with your yeah your colleagues uh, because what is a prerequisite is that it needs to be yeah part of one organization but then a multi-tenant structure. So Microsoft calls this multi-tenant organization MTO uh, is how they call this this feature and it has well, let's say two use cases. So one use case is that an organization who owns and operates more than one tenant. But, uh, so let's say you have a holding company with 10 different organizations uh, below that, the other companies, and you want to interact with each other. Uh, that's one of the use cases you can now achieve with a uh, multi-tenant organization. And the second one is system admins that need a separate account within the same tenant or that you have a test tenant. Uh, also there now those uh, yeah, users only need one license and they can use their M365 E3, E5, E5 uh, the end where Entra uh, ID is part of, I can use that now also for their second identity in that tenant. So let's describe three use cases. So the first use case is an organization acquires another company and wants to interact sh uh, with each other, share content, sh uh, chat, uh, see if somebody is online or not, uh, see which uh, employees are working for that organization. You can now do that with uh, your uh, license that that user already has uh, to enable multi-tenant organization. Second use case is, now let's say uh, Eric uh, works for a holding company and wants to access different SAP systems across different daughter companies. Also there, then uh, he or she can use uh, the Entra ID uh, license across the multi-tenant environment to authenticate through MFA uh, and uh, uh, conditional access policies. The third use case is uh, a global admin uh, who has two accounts or multiple accounts within the same tenant or test tenant could be uh, both situations. Also here, uh, the, the person now only needs one license uh, because they he or she can utilize the Entra P1, P2 or the governance Entra ID license for his second uh, account as well. So what are the use rights and product terms for this new feature. Now, first of all, let's start with product terms. It is not elaborated and described yet in the product terms. Uh, we see this unfortunate more often right? because uh, the product terms is the only legal uh, way we have uh, 
to rely on. But unfortunately, we see more and more uh, license features on blog posts out there from Microsoft. So that makes it harder to navigate. This is just another one, uh, but I think we can believe that yeah, once Microsoft and an official uh, blog post is being done and is on the web out there, uh, we can uh, rely or should rely on that uh, and the, those features. And in the other hand, it's also available and you could enable it in your tenant, right? That feature is, has been launched. So I think we can safely say that this is a license right that you have the right for. But also, uh, but always in the nitty detail, detail greedy things. Uh, if you or if you nail it to, to the bottom, it's it could be hard to navigate. Uh, but that's good to know. Uh, and if you want to elaborate this and in, uh, roll this out uh, on a global scale, maybe it's good to discuss this in your negotiation with Microsoft uh, to have an amendment with, which then states uh, the license rules and uh, terms and conditions. But what are you able to do with this license? So what I said before, it's limited and aligned to the Entra ID P1, P2 and governance license. But Microsoft's enhanced that a bit more with more features. So for example, for Teams and FIFA, they also added that to the Entra ID stack uh, to be able to collaborate across multi-tenants environments uh, to your yeah, colleagues who are working for a different entity of, or, or organization or the same entity or same organization but then in a different tenant um, so you could therefore uh, yeah, have a few additional uh, specs and features so one of them is uh, find people across organizations really easily at uh, the multi-tenant organization people search uh, function is uh, is enabled uh, and you could collaborate and see then the different people within the other tenant. Uh, second one is streamlined workforce collaboration. Uh, users can now join a meeting, a chat and collaborate through Teams or in a channel, uh, share content with each other um, with uh, across multi-tenants with this new feature. Uh, unlock new ways for employees and leaders to connect so you can communicate, start campaigns. Uh, this is really the FIFA stack, what Microsoft added to that Entra ID multi-tenant organization. And as last uh, for the system admins out there, you can manage incidents across different tenants. Uh, with multi-tenant management in Microsoft Defender, uh, you will, uh, have the availability to uh, yeah, do security tools and security checks across multi-tenant environments. So how could you implement the multi-tenant organization? Now it works with an invite from company to company. Um, so you get started with Enter ID multi-tenant organization. And so step one is uh, form a multi-tenant organization. And this is what I said, facilitated by an invite and accept between the two companies. Uh, so go to admin center, organization settings, and there you find the multi-tenant collaboration option. Then step two is provision and uh, the external member, so you need to provision all the users that you want to be able to access that uh, second tenant. Uh, you, you have different options for that. If you have a smaller environment, you can do that in the M365 Admin Center. If you want to do this at scale, uh, go to the Entra Admin Center. And then step three, the last step is uh, complete the prerequisites. Uh, there are a few prerequisites, such as, and one example is you need to uh, use the latest and greatest version from Microsoft Teams because only with the new version you are able to collaborate uh, across different tenants. Thank you for watching to another video from Todata. I hope you learned something. Uh, as always, we are keen to optimize and help you uh, navigate in this uh, complex world from Microsoft licensing. Uh, and you know uh, yeah, probably where to find us. Reach out to us if you have any questions. We're more than happy to support you uh, in navigating and optimizing your Microsoft contract. For now, see you next week. Bye-bye.